want to eat, to be honest. Thank you. Oh, it's red. That oh, is you Steve's see. job, yes, well. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. My bad. I'm new. Giving That's it away true. like that. Look how the, the nice. tears stain the glass there. Mm. Yeah, toasty oak. Purple. So what are your first impressions? And just look at it, you can see the way it's coating the glass. Mm -hmm. It usually indicates from a very warm climate, typically New World. Looking at my esteemed colleagues, I think we already all have an idea. And that idea is, John? Pinot Noir from Bulgaria. <laughs> <laughs> and the alcohol is screaming. Yeah. I mean, I would say mm -hmm. probably close to 15% or 14.5%. Okay. Really warms the palate, warms the chest, and you get almost that of steering sensation, like you know, you've had a shot of tequila. What's surprising is the palate, though. I can't mm. quite work it out. I was expecting something a little smoother, but it's quite grippy, in fact. I think uh, the uh, winemaker had a lot to do with this particular the wine. wine. Yeah. There's an acidulation. It doesn't taste nearly as jammy or as as flat or flabby, which is how you describe a wine with, with lack of acidity. Mm -hmm. It's a modern winemaker's wine. In other words, there's, there's a lot of manipulation going on in this wine. Mm -hmm. And so it starts to make it more difficult to determine where it comes from. There's also a little hint, and I'm reluctant to give it away, but I'm going to anyhow, because that's the kind of guy I am. Mm -hmm. Mint. I get a little minty eucalyptus, eucalyptus. Yeah. note, okay. which is sort of a dead giveaway. Well, not for one single region, but uh, Australia, South Australia. Mm -hmm. yep. Well, why don't you guess, Steve? Why don't you give us your five? I think it's from Australia. The eucalyptus note gives that away. I think it's from, uh, from South Australia. And I think it's Cabernet Sauvignon. It's, it's young. So let's say 2009, mm -hmm. and it's 25 bucks. Okay. John? I'm mm -hmm. in Australia. I'm in South Australia. I was hesitating between Barossa and McLaren, and I'm going to end up in the McLaren Vale mm -hmm. region of South Australia. Variety, I mean, this is really so ripe and so full of uh, extract and wood that it's kind of obscuring varietal character, but I think it's uh, Shiraz. I get just a little hint of... of pepper, black pepper, which would take me there. So uh, Shiraz, McLaren Vale, mm -hmm. 2010. Mm -hmm. And price is, uh, I think Steve's in the right category of price, but I'm going to say a little bit less expensive, 1995. Okay. I've been taught to go with your first intuition with this and immediately putting my nose in the glass. I do believe it's Australian, just even looking at it, it has that, that character. I was debating between McLaren Vale and Barossa or uh, Langhorne Creek, basically that whole area there is known for its eucalyptus trees. Mm -hmm. But I would go with Barossa as well. There's a, a, a big extraction. I do think it's Shiraz. It's pretty youthful still, 2010, and uh, $21 okay. would be my guess. It's going to be another close round. Okay. It's Shiraz. Shiraz. It and is McLaren a Shiraz. Vale. It's from McLaren Vale. Wow. <laughs> and I was down in Australia and asking a number of winemakers, can you really tell the difference between Shiraz from McLaren Vale and Barossa? Mm -hmm. And depending on who you asked, the, the answer was about 50-50. Most -50. mm -hmm. said, it's really tough. I mean, yeah. they're both warm regions, but McLaren uh, is coastal. Uh, Barossa is a little bit further inland, so it's a little bit more moderate. Uh, though, interestingly enough, I, I usually detect um, a slightly rougher texture in McLaren Vale wines. Barossa tends to be a little bit rounder, softer, more glycerol, a little bit less uh, less astringent. Yeah, I didn't want to <laughs> completely, <laughs> no, completely <laughs> copy John on that one there, Fair but uh, I mean, I think all three of us kind of got it pretty close. Yeah, very here, close, right? very close. Yeah. This is a pretty good example of Australian Shiraz. You know, if I mm. bought this, I'd be, I'd be pretty happy. So Steve, uh, Close, but, uh, but not, not right. quite, not no. quite. Yeah. Uh, so three points for you. Again, you sort of had the, the region, the country, you were there, but the variety was just off. Will, really close. You went with your intuition. It led you inland a bit, which left you with seven points. And John, you won that round. Very good guessing, eight points. Uh, Deduction, you, not guessing. <laughs> good sleuthing, you took us there, your nose knows. Yeah, that was great.